We're doing something amazing here at Cincinnati Children's Hospital. We can take a drop of blood from any patient, make their own stem cells, and turn them into that patient's own tissue, liver, pancreas, intestine, miniature organs, which we refer to as organoids. Organoids are organs in a Petri dish. The real breakthrough in organoid technologies was our discovery on how to trigger organ formation from a two-dimensional process to something that is actual three-dimensional tissue. And we do that by manipulating the growth environment in the Petri dish to trigger this three-dimensional formation of organ tissue. By growing a patient's own tissue in the lab, we can study how the disease initially establishes in that tissue. And so this really is an unprecedented opportunity for us to understand disease. And by understanding disease, we can develop novel therapies. We can screen that patient's own tissue to look for drugs that will respond appropriately for those patients. The ability to be able to take your cells and grow your tissues and understand how they respond to so many different things opens up a whole new world of medicine that's very patient specific. So Beatrice should technically never need another transplant her life. That is what I'm banking on. Um, but we know that things don't always go the way that we hope. And if they don't and she does need another organ or something else, a change in medication, we're really looking to this program at Cincinnati Children's to guide us in the right direction. And we feel like the more money and support we put into this program, the faster the results will happen. Cincinnati Children's is the only institution in the country that has an organoid center of this kind. We're out there leading the charge. We're making the discoveries. Imagine a day when no patients are dying on the waiting list for organ transplantation. We would be able to grow unlimited amounts of tissue from a patient's own stem cells and give it back to them. And of course, the hope is one day we can make full-scale organs. There won't be a problem of rejection because the organs come right from the child's own stem cells, not from a donor. The key to success is going to be getting help from industry, philanthropy, and the Medical Center's technology transfer team so that we can transfer this organoid technology to the patient care pipeline as quickly as possible. What's really exciting about Custom Accelerator is that it brings together experts in the field of regeneration medicine, uh, people with industry experience, clinicians who have a direct contact with our patients. It's to really take the most breakthrough technologies out of the research lab of Custom and transform them into innovative solutions such as drug discovery tools or organoid space therapies that can be then taken back into the clinic and change the outcome in our patients and really have a near-term impact into patients' life. Major pharmaceutical has less interest in uh, developing a drug, for particularly for rare disorders because of the market potential or because of business issues. But this space is really uh, helping that type of disorders, including rare disorders. We can change a paradigm. We are truly making a progress toward a better health and brighter future for all of those children and all the patients around the globe. I mean, this is a direct correlation to saving people. This isn't just science that we're hoping, cross our fingers, will work out eventually. They are doing this now. They are seeing results now. We're on a very rapid trajectory, and that's why everyone's excited, because they're seeing now human diseases in real time developing uh, in ways that we've never been able to do before. It makes me want to give more to help it progress even faster. I mean, selfishly, that's like what makes me want to continue. I want to show my girls that we can be a part of something much bigger than ourselves, that's something that will affect the world.